Merry Christmas, Ruskin and Drewers. I hope you had a lovely day. I hope you had a wonderful time with your families and I hope you had some delicious dinners. So uh, I only just got back and it's a bit late, but I have a serious topic to discuss with all of you, that being post-Christmas. So I'm sure many of you are well aware that we've just, you know, wrapped up with Christmas now. And uh, with this video, that was the most recent upload, I do discuss basically everything that happened in regards to Christmas 2023. Uh, it went a bit awkward, unfortunately, uh, we had some issues in regards to uh, people panicking, people, uh, you know, wanting to get rid of their stock too quickly. Uh, there was, you know, an unfortunate uh, s uh, situation in regards to the likes of uh, Domino Effect taking place and many people just unloading all their stock very, very quickly and a little bit too early, to be honest. So uh, this year's Christmas wasn't exactly the best, uh, especially when you compare to the previous year. At least in my case, with 2022's December time, when I sold all my Christmas skins, I made about twice as much as I did this year. Yeah, that really puts it into perspective, doesn't it? So yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> I didn't really make that many sales. Not as much as I hoped for. I did make, you know, a very good attempt. If I just were to quickly show you here, you could see all of these Christmas theme skins. I was certainly trying. I was putting an effort in, and this is just one account. I was selling Christmas skins on eight accounts. So you can see I definitely was trying, and I was definitely kind of portioning everything out in smaller batches. Well, unfortunately, it looks like uh, it no longer is going to be the same case as uh, that because I'm not sure if people are going to be wanting to buy Christmas skins at this current point now because, well, Christmas has come and gone. How unfortunate. How very unfortunate. But it doesn't necessarily mean this is the end. It doesn't necessarily mean that we can't, like, make some wonderful sales. Oh, no, no, no. Gentlemen, you fail to realise the very second we hit with the likes of December 26th, post-Christmas begins. So, between the time period of December 26th to around the end of January, we are going to see a rampant increase in demand for all rust skins, and they are all going to go up in value. So get a good look at the likes of the front pages on the Steam market. You might notice a lot of very well-beloved skins are currently getting bought out, and you might notice they're all increasing in price ever so nicely. So we're going to go over in this video discussing post-Christmas, how you might want to behave, and just getting a good idea of how everything usually plays out. So sit back and relax. We're now going to properly jump into all of it. So a good, like, no, quite literally yesterday, I uploaded uh, um, some images and I made some tweets. So uh, I pointed out, certain Ruskins already making a big push upwards. Kiss AR, close to $6. Many other notable skins pushing up to all-time high prices as well. Welcome to post-Christmas, everyone. Uh, but it's still one day early. Ha ha ha. Yeah, because this quite literally was, at least in my time, uh, very early in the morning for Christmas. And people clearly were buying out certain skins. And then, of course, I thought I should also point this out as well. So from what you can see here with this screenshot, Redemption MP5... So here's something to be aware of as we roll into post-Christmas. Don't look at a skin and take things at face value. Redemption MP5 has 119 quantity and is currently listed at $4. Well, when I use my Steam Inventory Helper extension, I can see 86 are listed above $7. So then we'll take a look at the second image and get a good look at that. So first things first, I would definitely recommend using the likes of a... Google extension, or, you know, if you use other browsers, an extension in which you can see more listings. Because by default, by default, if we quickly go back over to this image, you will only see 119 for sale, $4, but you can't see all the listings. You don't know how this skin is actually properly listed out. So when you look at the likes of this, where I do use an extension that helps me, you can see there's like no resistance, no big fat quantity walls. This skin in particular definitely looks like it's going to rise up in price ever so nice. And of course, when you notice that the vast majority of the stock is selling for basically almost double the price, yeah, it really puts things into perspective that this is very vulnerable to rise up in price very easily and reach a much higher price. So please be aware of this and do consider looking for extensions in which they can help you see a whole lot more. As I said, the one I use is Steam Inventory Helper. It's up to you if you wish to use that. Now, I'm going to go over and take a look at the current 
listings and see how they're currently holding up. So when I look at the likes of the, let's go Kiss AR first. Kiss AR has gone down a little bit. Yes, it has. But when you still look at the likes of its build up in terms of its price uh, and its sales listings, well, <laughs> it could easily go back up again. But yeah, it hasn't really dropped down that much. And it's more of a case of when you look at the recent sales, you might notice it's just been trending up ever so nice. So most skins this year, usually, like so most of them, did drop down at their lowest point around late September, early October. But from then on, it's only been increasing in value, increasing in demand. And with, with the likes of this KCR, you notice that there's a sudden, sudden start, a sudden pit little little the big very beginnings of a new rise so this one's not exactly super crazy compared to some other skins i'm about to show you but you can clearly see this has been on an upward trend for a good few months now and this is the point where we're going to notice it starting to peak and with hardly any quantity on the steam market you shouldn't be surprised to consider yeah this is going to probably peak in price very nicely because there's only so many of them to go around now if other people were to notice they probably will start unloading their stock so this is another lesson that i want to teach to you very quickly try your best to stop yourself from listing more than five quantity at a time with each individual skin because please understand this with a with a massive surge in demand we're going to get a lot of momentum with these skins in terms of prices going up ever so nice because it's expected that these skins aren't going to like peak like on December 26, they're not going to peak on December 27. No, they're very likely going to peak at some point in January time. So my advice to you is ride that wave of momentum. List your skins in smaller batches. And, you know, when they sell, just list another batch again. If everybody did that, everybody will be walking out with very nice profits. If you're lazy, if you unload all of your stock, you kill the momentum that the skin had in terms of rising up in price. But more importantly, you kill your own potential optimal profits. So please consider that. Don't, list, don't unload everything all in one go because you're only ruining it for yourself, all right? It's very unsmart to do. <laughs> unsmart? Is that the, we could just say dumb. You, you, you'd be very dumb to do it. So, um, yeah. So if this like stays like this, very likely it will rise up in price even more so because, of course, as I said, there's just nothing there. So strike while the iron is hot. When will that be? Maybe you want to wait until it's like $5 a piece, $6 a piece, maybe even more. But as I said, don't assume peak prices are definitely going to happen like now. In most cases, for the vast majority of skins, it's some point in January time. But at the very least, you should start looking at all the skins you own, such as myself right here. And, oh God, yes, I've got to sell all of these. But even I know, with all that I have, with all that I have, the smartest thing to do is to sell in small batches. And that is what I was doing during the likes of Christmas time. Because I want to see the demand still causing the likes of all skins to rise up in price. And, then, and little by little, I do throw in a couple of my skins in there just to make some good sales and walk away with some decent pr uh, prices to get, start uh, get started with. Now, the, r the main reason why I can do that and why I do do that is because you might notice with a lot of the skins I have here, they have very high quantities. I do own a lot of certain skins. I'm fully well aware of that. But even then, I'm happy to have sold half. I, if I didn't sell all of them, then all right, fine. I'll just hold on to them until the next nice peak period of time. That would most likely be summertime in 2024. So again, I'm a lot different compared to the vast majority of you. I have a ridiculous amount of skins and uh, the value, ho ho, the value of this inventory right now has reached its all time highest ever since, you know, I kept this recorded. So it's now almost $77,000. That's pretty cool. But I am going to be selling all of this now. But like I said, within reason sounds good so you've now got to look at your inventories and start considering okay when should i probably want to get started and well are you going to want to wait a few days to just let things get started get let the engine get running and then of course then you start on selling your things it's up to you because we do have to consider where things are likely going to end up at when this got its first like attack of many people jumping in and buying it out it did go back down in price again. But the main, the main, the main, the main, the main, the main thing that we have to be aware of is the amount of people that are currently playing. Now, of course, at this current moment, 
most pe- most people in Europe are probably going to bed right about now. They're probably very tired after eating tons of food. Don't blame them. I really need to do that in a second. But with what we've seen over the past week or so, we have been doing very good numbers. Uh, I think it's two or three days we've gone over 140,000 people playing the game at the same time, which is very, very surprising because that happened before Christmas. And when you compare it to the likes of last year, January 20, <clears throat> December 2022, um, we reached our all-time, or rather, the peak player count during that month was 138,675, but that happened That happened after Christmas that year, all right? So it's special with what we have here, because what this time, this period of time, has beaten last year before we've had post-Christmas. Post-Christmas is expected to have the biggest peak player count that we've had in a while. So for a good few months, it's been very tame in terms of the peak player counts. But back during the likes of uh, July time, we had 182,000 people playing. For the longest time, Rust was in the top five top pl- uh, most played games. And it was definitely there, very well cemented during the likes of the summertime. Very, very nice. However, of course, most kids and college students did have to go back to school around the uh, September, October, November time. The all autumn fall seasonal dip it was very bad and very unfortunate but this is now where we are starting to recover and this is of course going to be the time where most of the returning players will be appearing we're going to have some very 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 high player counts and with many people returning to play the game they're going to want to get some of those sweet delicious looking pixels so with an increased in demand for everything leads to everything going up in value and of course up in price so everything is looking good this is what we have to keep track of and my expectation expectation or rather my hope is that last year January throughout all the January 2023 the average player count average was uh, 95,000 very nice very nice but it's four swipe that had a peak player count of 176,000 do you reckon January is January 2024 is going to beat January 2023 at the moment based on what we've seen with the player counts with this December I'm optimistic things are looking good things are lining up to be very very nice now let me roll over uh, to talk about the likes of the redemption mp5 you might have noticed that this is uh, now listed at a higher price compared to four dollars <laughs> so the 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 uh, quantity has increased by 10 but the price has also increased guys this is going to happen a lot this is going to happen a lot now we should also remind ourselves as you can see the person who uh, listed all of theirs above uh, seven dollars well they're, they're still there they're still there so overall it's the same situation as that tweet that we put out so we quickly go back over to here again you know it's still the same thing the gun hasn't changed or anything it's just a <laughs> everyone jumped in and bought out the stock and that's only the beginning it's only the beginning so if you aren't fully well aware of the likes of the redemption mp5 the Redemption MP5, the Blackout MP5, and the Charitable Charitable Rust MP5, they have a little bit more transparency so you can see more when you aim down the site. These are definitely going to be getting a lot of attention. And you know what? To make a very nice direct comparison, we should take a look at the likes of the Blackout MP5 because that is its direct comp- competitor. So when we look at the likes of the Blackout MP5, this is now pushing up to about just under $12, I believe. Let's just quickly find this out. Also, only 67 quantity in the Steam market. See, it's just below $12. Let's see the layout. Guys, there is no resistance there either. 1111121111131321121121121. There's nothing there. There's no resistance. There's no big fat quantities. That is looking very, very, very nice. So let's quick get a quick look at the likes of the uh, sales since like October. So you can get a really good idea of how things have been reasonably improving uh wow redemption mp5 didn't really go down that bad so when you look at the likes of this so lowest point seems to be around here early october as we said the vast majority of ruskins this year this was their lowest point and since then it's just been improving and improving and improving has it been an like an, uh, an insane increase in price it hasn't really it's gone up by 50 percent since then however like i said it's just the beginning of post christmas as you can see it's only a little bit of a climb up right there soon it's going to probably go all the way up to like here and I look forward to it. I wouldn't be surprised if this potentially doubles in price based on what the price was over here. So yeah, you, you've got to keep an eye on these things. Now, a quick, as I said, we should quickly now hop over and take a look at the likes of the uh, Black MP5 a little bit more again, just to see if the same pattern is there. And oh God, yes, it is. Look at that. So uh, yeah, this has been pretty fun. Lowest point early October are we correct well, it's just about like September October it's still the, you know it's still the same but look at that look at that Whoop. <laughs> so lowest point uh well in my currency that's four pound 28 but that's about five dollars right now this is currently selling for well uh, double 
Yeah, it's already doubled in price since its lowest point here. Things are looking very, 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 very good. So this is what a lot of skins are going to be behaving like. Black Hat MP5, as I said, is a very well-beloved MP5 skin. I, I do believe it's one of the most expensive ones. Defin certainly one of the more in-demand uh, MP5 skins. And the reason why Redemption's also a, a very nice close second is because it's a whole lot more affordable. So nice and cranberry red, or do you want to go for the nice sleek full blackout design oh yes so uh many of you should be well aware with the likes of redemption collection loads of people like it i wouldn't be surprised if many returning people would be buying out this collection to put on the likes of their weapon racks i've been saying that so much this year let's get a good look at the uh, collection at the moment some skins still in the negative give it a decent amount of time that will change but don't forget if things look pretty bad you should also take a look at the actual pages themselves why is that hedge well, I mean, there's only like 43 of these Redemption Bolt Action Rifle skins on the market. That's ridiculously low. Yeah. So, okay, maybe we just got a couple of stragglers. Yeah, quite literally, we've got one listing below. So that doesn't really, like, represent the skin very well, does it? So this sold for $2.99 in the Rust Store, and we literally only have one below the Rust Store price. And then after that, it's like a four, it's a three, it's a two, it's a two, it's a one, 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 four, one. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. Do you understand the position we're in? So many of these skins, they're expected to sell very well. Right now, they're very vulnerable. They have no resistance. <laughs> they have low quantity. How high will this potentially go? I would be surprised if it potentially pushes up to $4 and beyond. Wouldn't surprise me. And again, look at the sales history. How's it been since October time? Again, early October, all the way up to now, it's been doing very, very well. So basically, this again has only gone up by about 50%, but it's not its peak, uh, peak price yet. We're still building up to it. So yes, things are looking very, very, very good. Some things might not look super great initially. Give it some time. As I said, when things warm up, I fully believe all of these redemption skins will be in the positive at some point over the course of the next week or so. Wouldn't surprise me at all. And then another good counterpart was the likes of the Chameleon Collection. I've basically sat here throughout all of this year and said Chameleon and the Redemption Collection are both looking to be perfect collection to the perfect collection to put on those brand new weapon racks. They're not brand new for us now, but a lot of returning people who haven't seen them, are, it's going to be new to them, isn't it? So they're going to need a very cool looking collection to put on there. Wouldn't you believe the likes of the Chameleon Collection with its wonderful holographic designs potentially getting a lot of love? Hmm, maybe, possibly. So again, wouldn't be surprised if even the likes of the LR300 and the AK-47 work out very well. This only has 20 quantity on the Steam market. Again, is it just one or two people listed below the Rust Store price? Uh, I think it is. Uh, well, it's a reasonable few. What price did that sell for? Uh, $3. Well, it doesn't matter because there's nothing there. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, unfortunately, it's mainly due to the fact that uh, the LR300 itself has low gun demand. People aren't exactly clamoring to use it in game. But um, even then, part of a well-established collection will still increase in value. So things are looking very, very good. So we just had a quick look at the likes of uh, some certain skins with Reason and... Uh, we've also taken a look at some collections I thought were going to do very well. Do you know what we should also do? Why don't we go take a look at the likes of the wonderful Forest Raiders collection? I've had a few people come up to me and saying, Hedge, do you think even the Forest Raiders collection will still go up in price and whatnot? Yes, I do. I really do. It's still, like, right now, right now, this is still looking to be very pricey, isn't it? Well, don't worry, my friend. It's still expected to rise up. Now, with the likes of this collection, it's already expensive. Uh, it's already expensive. This might not go up as much as you might think. This is probably only going to... This might only increase maybe another 10 to 20%. So if you're wondering, oh, hmm, should I sell my Forest Raiders right about now? I mean, it is the right time period, but we've only just got started. Even then, I still can see the likes of these going up a little bit more. So with the likes of the Kilt, which is selling for $52 apparently right about now, 80 quantity on the Steam market, what does that listing... Uh, lineup look like again it's just one two three one 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 but again like i said it's probably only going to go up maybe about up to maybe about mm, 60 dollars maybe but then again there is quite a lot of quite a lot of listings all the way up to there so maybe it only goes up by another five uh, another ten percent yeah so it's still going to be selling for between 50 to 60 dollars so yeah that's just a bit of a an assumption i can't foresee the future but the question you're probably wondering is when do i sell when do i sell when it's good for you all right 
As you are probably well aware, I have a lot of skins, all right? We've already pointed that out because I showed my inventory and the likes of uh, SCMM.APP over here. I have a lot, but now I'm going to be brutally honest with you. I'm not that fast if I sold a skin for a decent price now, and then a week later I sell the same skin and I get more out of it. The way I look at things is, if I sold something for a profit, I, okay, cool, awesome, I succeeded. That's my outlook with things, but maybe it's a lot different based on the fact that I have a ton of skins. So maybe you want to be a little bit more patient, wait a little bit more to get more out of your sales. But with the likes of me, as I said, because I have so much more and I have quite a lot of quantities of certain skins and whatnot, I would like to throw in two or three every now and then just to make some sales whilst it's gradually rising in price. Because we do not know where these skins are going to peak and all of the skins don't peak at the same time. No, they peak at various different times. You know, demand is different for many different things. So do be aware of that. You can't really sit around and wait for a very particular specific date. No, 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 no. You just have to look at things and think, all right, so this Forest Raiders pants skin I have right about now, uh, based on what I just said there, the likes of the kilt, looking at this, I'll look at the uh, sales listing. So again, I'm using Steam Inventory Helper right here to give me a good look at the uh, listings. So a two, a five, a three, a one, a one, a three, a one, a one, a two, a one, and a two. Hmm. Do you know what the best thing I could do right about now? Look at the past. How, how much was this selling for during the summer? Hmm. Right, so we've already passed that. Hmm. <laughs> um, ha, huh, really? We have. Damn. That's interesting. I'm not going to complain. Maybe it's still going to go up even higher. I don't know how high it's going to go, but within reason, I think, you know what? Maybe I'll wait a little bit more. At the very least, maybe until January, we'll see what it looks like by then. But you do want to see the player counts go up a fair bit more. So over the course of this next week, if the player count's doing very, very well, that's awesome. But you might even want to consider waiting until January for swipe. So if we see very good player counts uh, over the course of these next few days, that only makes me think that with the likes of January 4, 2024's um, uh, Force Wipe uh, uh, Rust Store, we're probably going to, on, on that particular day, we're going to see a very cool looking Rust Store, and we're also going to be seeing a very, very decent amount of people playing. I don't know why I kept mentioning the Rust Store. That, 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 that's not important, so we won't worry about that. Um, sorry, <laughs> I got a little bit mumbled there, but I did have to bring that up. January 4 is going to be the full swipe, and that is the one where we're most likely going to see the peak player count of all of January 2024, because most people like to play when it's a fresh start. Okay, so things are okay at the moment. I do expect it to be better. Keep an eye on the player counts because, of course, that does influence when you potentially might want to sell your skins. But like I say, I'm happy that I made a profit. And the expectation is um, with the likes of all skins, if you sell them now, that's very nice. Do be aware that with this wonderful post-Christmas time where we're going to see the peak, play, uh, peak price counts, uh, peak prices for many skins happening over the course of these next few, uh, uh, few weeks or so, we have a Counter-Strike Major coming up, CS2 Copenhagen 2024. Yes, in March, in March, we are having a Counter-Strike Major. So do be aware of this. A lot of people who are involved in the likes of the Rust economy j just so happen to also be involved with the likes of the uh, CS economy. And when CS economy gets the likes of uh, a CS Major or a, an Operation, with a lot more very interesting, shiny-looking um, bits and pieces such as stickers, capsules, you know, loads of new content that they can buy and sell. Yeah, uh, loads of people tend to go buy it. And where are, gonna, where are they going to get that money from? Yeah, they're very likely going to sell their Rust skins. Now, I should also point out, like, uh, skins and whatnot in CS do get sold a lot, so, that, so the CS economy goes down a fair bit as well, but Rust really gets kind of rinsed out. <laughs> I've seen it happen many times in the past. So uh, whilst we're expecting very, very, very nice prices during the likes of now and January time, do know that by default, prices usually do tend to drop around March, April time. And with the likes of this major taking place, it will exacerbate that. It will make the likes of our skins drop down in value potentially even worse. So if you sold your skins right about now, or of course during January time, and get that money, get that profit, wait two or three months, go buy them around April time, and you'll probably be able to pick them up for a much cheaper price, and you still have all that profit that you made. That sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah!
So that's an option for you to do. I wouldn't sit there and say definitely, definitely, definitely do it. But um, you could say a few things that, yeah, like if, especially if you're in school or you're going to work, sell your skins as you can. And then when you come back, go buy them back again. Because with the likes of the prices we see for January, you're probably not going to see them that high again until maybe the next post-Christmas. But I will point this out. Uh, we do tend to see the likes of uh, the summertime also being a great time to sell your skins. Like we mentioned a little bit earlier, when you make the uh, quick l analysis of this year, July was ju well, uh, July was better in terms of the player count compared to January, and that was that was a very very interesting thing that happened earlier this year. But of course, even then, you have the autumn fall seasonal dip afterwards. So yeah, prices d still went down. Will we see this many people playing again over the course of January time next week? I sure hope so. I sure hope so. But I do expect so as well. So things are looking good. Things are lining up well. It's up to you what you do in regards to when you sell your skins. Sounds good? All good? Perfect. Right. So I thought to myself, why don't I show off some notable skins that have been rising up in price recently? Just to get the point across that there's a lot of interest in certain skins and, of course, eventually all skins. So first things first, this isn't a skin, no, it's an item, it's the Exuit. This has been trending up in price very nicely recently, and there's still a ton of quantity, so that's taken me by surprise. But I guess just in general, people like the Exuit, just to goof around in or just draw whatever they want on themselves. It's probably uh, probably something uh, long and, uh, well, I won't, I, won't, I won't go in too into detail, but you know what I'm about. People like to draw stupid things on themselves. Well, ever since the likes of early October, that was the lowest point. And now we've only been seeing a nice steady increase. And you might notice that little bit right there at the very end. Yeah, that's a that's a sudden surge in demand going on there. That's a price increase. And it's only the beginning. So this was something that was quite surprising to me. 125 have sold in the past 24 hours. Well, that's interesting. So keep an eye on this because, well, it's looking like it's going to keep rising up in price. When you look at the sales listings, yeah, you got a 30 there. That's very unfortunate. If that persists... I don't think it can stop the likes of the increase in price because, well, we just saw 125 sold in the past 24 hours. I don't think that's going to survive. I think that's definitely going to disappear, and this will still rise up in price more so. How high will it go? Do you reckon it'll sell for the $10 price it sold for? Um, uh, maybe, but do be prepared. This is very likely going to be reintroduced for Easter 2024. So if you happen to own one, maybe you do want to sell it during the likes of January time, and... Uh, well, maybe they'll sell it for the same price in Easter, or maybe, just maybe, they'll probably lower the price. And they have done that in many instances for uh, other holiday items that they reintroduce. So do be prepared for something like that. Looking over to here, we have the Brutalist Armored Door. This is something that's taken me... It, 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 it kind of surprised me, but I'm also not surprised. This is an armored door with tons of transparency. You don't even need to lift the hatch up. I'm not at all surprised to see this was bought out, but this quite literally was just bought out. So for a good few weeks that this has been available on the likes of the uh, Steam market, uh, it was trending downwards. And then quite literally, uh, as of like December 23rd, <laughs> yeah, it, it got bought out. So this had a very decent amount of quantity just a few days ago, and uh, yeah, it got bought out. <laughs> it got bought out. It got cleaned out. So um, yeah, even very recent skins are expected to uh, have nice surges in demand and uh, increases in price if there's a very good reason behind it. Well, like I said, with the amount of transparency that this has, it is just too pay to win to be honest how could you not want to use it and it glows in the dark wow but uh, i've made a comparison with this compared to like so the bombshell armored door which uh, also has transparency that in no way can compare to the likes of this skin right here this is definitely going to be getting some love and if you happen to own any i'm pretty sure i do uh let's just quickly remind our uh, armored do i have a whole bunch um, no, I did trade them over to here though recently. So if I were to go over to here and take a look now, I mean, I, well, I should have done that. I should have done brutalist. I'm so, uh, did I spell it correctly? I'm sorry, chat. I I'm I'm a hoarder. I have so many. I've only got one, but I do believe on one of my accounts I did buy a whole bunch. In fact, I did record it. If I just quickly go over to here. I did record it. Brutalist Armador 50. I bought those on December 18th. I basically bought them for about like 
half the price it's currently selling for well that's good yeah yeah bioders are great i definitely would recommend it so i'm in the green i'm looking pretty good at the moment you just keep rising up in price my friend yes 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 and it's very expected to happen because with the layout of what we see right here there's nothing there <laughs> there's literally nothing there i i don't know how much more i can express myself there's nothing so it can easily get bought out which means it can easily rise up in price so yeah, and, and you might sit there and say, but Hedge, that's just the listings. True. But if people still buy them, then other people list around the same price as well. So therefore, the value will go up. I know it's very silly, but it happens. This is post-Christmas. Welcome to profits. Welcome to fun. You're an investor. This is the best time to sell your skins for wonderful, wonderful, sweet, delicious looking profits. Oh, yes, indeed. Let's go take a look at the Blackout Collection. Here we have the Blackout Kit. A very nice skin that's a very good reputation representation for this collection so right now this is only selling for about 18 dollars has it peaked i don't think so but when you look at the amount of listings one 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 it's very nice and spread out but even then with the amount that we see listed here i'm not sure if it's going to go that much higher now as we scroll down look at the amount of sales it's had 53 in the past 24 hours that sounds pretty good but maybe some of them were sold to the highest buy order do please take that into consideration things do happen like that or maybe it simply did get bought out and of course more people listed we shall see we shall see but you should be well aware that the likes of the blackout kilt is a, a usual suspect that you will see in the front page of the rust steam market a lot so maybe people have noticed that the value is going up and well they probably thought now is a good time to sell. It's it's a good time to sell if you're happy to sell it at those prices. But like I said, I'd rather wait it out a little bit longer. So when you take a look at the likes of the last year's post-Christmas, which you can see here with the blackout kilt, it was very low in price around late October. Yes, last year. Uh, it was the end of October in which most skins uh, reached their lowest point. This year... <coughs> no, I've been talking too much. <coughs> okay cool 30 minutes in and only now does he croak my apologies there all right so let me just say that once again when you make a when you give this a good look when we make a comparison to last year the vast majority of skins last year reached their lowest point at the end of october this year it was the beginning of october right about here yeah so look at that lowest point here and it basically almost doubles in price a good 50 70 percent increase but what did we mention a little bit earlier? The vast majority of Ruskins are expected to go down in price around March, April time. Usually around the springtime will be their lowest, their new lowest point. But then with the likes of the summertime where kids are out of school and whatnot, they're going to be spending all of their time on Rust. You expect the price to rise back up again. Will it be as good as the likes of post-Christmas? It's debatable, but it still will increase in price. And then, of course, we have the autumn fall seasonal dip. And then... Of course, we'll be waiting for the next post-Christmas. The momentum will begin all over again. Rust is very routine, and you could just basically look at the blackout kilt to get a good idea of how things are going to play out for next year, and the year after that, and the year after that. It, usually, it, it, it honestly just repeats itself over and over and over again. So, start of the year, very well. Springtime, go down. Summertime, good again. Autumn fall season, down. Uh, but eventually, as we get close to the end of the year, Things really start to pick up. And of course, with the start of the next year, off to a great start. So it happens all over again, every time, basically. So yeah, that is the expectation for all of our Ruskins, especially during the likes of next year. So Black Elk Kilt, right now you're sitting here at $18. You're only just getting started. Personally, I'd wait a little bit longer, then start to uh, sell. So will this still increase in price? I do expect it. Will this go above $20? I, I feel confident it will. But is that the end? Is that where it stops? I don't know. We'll see. All right. We'll see. Then we have the likes of the Whiteout collection. So throughout all of this year, Whiteout has like constantly, constantly, constantly been on the front page of the Rusty market. Give it a few minutes. This is going to change. Won't be surprised if we still see Whiteout there. So if I just quickly take a look at the likes of the Whiteout hoodie. Yeah, $12. Yep. Go look at its sales history. What is this? What is this? Do you see this? Look at the past week. What is going on? Post Christmas has got started. That's what. So yeah, it's just all nice and steady. Everything was fine. Yeah, so good. Oh wait, hang on a minute. Is it post Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> now it wasn't a massive surge in price and whatnot, but you can clearly see that things have just started. Think, you know, people making moves. 
uh welcome to post christmas once again so even the likes of these more expensive skins look people are buying them people are buying them even with the likes of these more expensive skins they still rise up in price and whatnot these are the meta skins the beloved collections that everybody enjoys and loves and appreciates yes even though it has a 25 quantity right there will it still go above the likes of 12 dollars wouldn't be surprised in the slightest but like i said people who do this put down fat quantities you're not helping this skin out this skin could easily rise up in price even higher if you didn't put down big fat quantities, big fat walls, obstacles. If you don't set up obstacles, the momentum that this skin has will go even higher. If anything, with the demand that we've seen already, why would you even do this? So like I said, it's the not very smart people or the lazy people. If you do things like this, you cause problems for your own potential profits. Don't do this. Now, will this persist? Will this stick around forever? No, I think it'll probably disappear in a few days. This is why I think doing this now is very pointless. If you waited a little bit longer, this could have probably sold for about $17. He could have made $5 more profit for each skin. Do you realise that now? <laughs> do you understand? So, yeah, at the very beginning, you've done this. What a very foolish thing to do. So, we'll have to keep an eye out. Will this go even higher? We shall see. When you look at the sales history for all of its existence, uh, yeah, this is the all-time high. <laughs> Welcome to post-Christmas. So, uh, yeah, that happens a lot. You're going to see many skins reaching their newest all-time highs. And, uh, like I said, wonderful time, this. It's the, it, 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 it's the Rust Skin Enjoyer's new holiday. Yeah, uh, screw Christmas. I don't need. I don't care for that anymore. I care for about the wonderful day of profits, the wonderful period of time in which I can go buy even more Steam decks. Yes, <laughs> the brand new OLED Steam decks will be mine. I'm going to hoard them as well. I'm going to make a throne out of Steam deck o uh, OLED Steam decks. Yes, <laughs> I'm going to put it on my roof. I'm going to. I'm going to go get some. I'm going to get some rocks and put them in my bucket and throw it at the poor people below me. <laughs> No, but you can see things are working out very nicely. So let's also take a look at the likes of the face mask over here. This is now looking like it's going to easily reach up to about like $12 soon. Well, hang on a minute. This has no fat quantities. This has only got 29 stock. Hold on a second. Look at that. Do you reckon it could go even higher? Damn well, it looks like. Yes, look at it. There's like nothing there. There's nothing there. Scroll down. What do we see? It's the same thing. <laughs> look at its lifetime sales. New all-time high. So, yeah. Yes. With the likes of a very a very in-demand collection, you can clearly see that people are jumping in now. People are buying it out now. And it's looking like it's just, it's still going to keep rising up in price. Now, how far will it go? Again, I'm not a... I, I can't predict the future. I can't foresee events. But what I can tell is it doesn't have that much resistance, quite clearly. It doesn't have that much stock. It could easily be viewed at a higher price at some point down the line, maybe over the course of the next couple of weeks. Like I said, listings don't exactly instantly equal value, but if they don't change in price that much, people will, you know, get reckless and just jump, jump in and buy at these prices anyway. And then maybe other people start to uh, put their builders at higher prices. And then wouldn't you know it, it now has a new standard price. So yeah, post Christmas does do this a lot. A lot of skins will potentially, from here on now, be seen to be more valuable, uh, and of course, will be sitting at around a much higher price for the foreseeable future. So yeah, white out collection seems to be on fire at the moment. Okay, if you happen to own it, do I own any? Do I own any? I'm honestly at that point in my life where I don't know if I own enough. Okay, okay, oh, cool, cool. There you go, I've got some profits already. Uh, white Tower Boots, <laughs> that's definitely going to be a funny one. Uh, if you aren't fully well aware, we had the White Tower Boots being accepted back in May of 2023. And, well, considering it was a White Tower uh, clothing skin, tons of them got bought. Now, don't worry about that price, that's just a glitched price right there. But yeah, there's like apparently a hundred thousand of these white out boots being bought. So uh, yeah. <laughs> However, oh god, look at the fat stacks of it. What are you doing? What are you doing? You could have just left it. Oh no! How many of these are sold in the past twenty four hours? Uh, Three hundred and forty three. Hmm. Wow, it actually peaked up quite high at the very end of November, huh? Wow, that that was up to like ninety ish plus cents, huh? lowest point very end of september and since then it's just kind of been going up a bit stagnating at the moment and the reason why it's stagnating is because these big fat quantities have appeared they are the walls they are the obstacles and it's going to be quite some time until we see the likes of the price go up if you're one of these people 
uh, who have a big fat stack of quantity on the Steam market and you're watching this video, remove them. Like I said, it will go up in value and it will go up in price if you allow it to. But this isn't helping. So you're ruining, you're ruining your own potential profits. That's the moral of the story. <laughs> right. So uh, I think we could probably go take a quick look at the likes of the Whiteout Collection. So Whiteout Collection, let's get a good look at this. We could take a look in the future and see how it currently looks like, uh, you know, in about two weeks time. But yeah, that's already doing very well and it's expected to do even better. You know, we could also take a look like of the uh, Blackout Collection. So Blackout Collection over here. Yep. So that's expensive, but there's also a ton of weapons. Let's not forget about that. So Blackout collection looking pretty good. Scroll up a little bit more so you can see some of the higher up skins, the more recent skins. Yes, there will be an instance where you will see every single Blackout skin being in the positive. And that's happened once. <laughs> will it happen again? Blackout bars always the weird one because, you know, bars, bars, there's too many of these. And there's always a ton of them in the Steam market. But we might just about see this being the positive. And this is the time period in which it's very likely going to happen. Uh, again, we could look at the likes of Forest Raiders again. You know, as a proper look, you know, because this is the point where we're showing off all the collections. So, yeah, this is uh, Forest Raiders. It's very expensive. If you have it, well done. If you don't, oh, no. <laughs> it's $230. But there is another counterpart for it. We have the likes of the Desert Raiders. Yes, Desert Raiders is uh, quite expensive as well. So get a good look at this. It's just over $120 for all of it. But there are free weapons and whatnot. And every single skin here currently in the positive. And, yeah, the Tier 3 armor has gone back back up to its normal price the pair of it if you were to buy both of these it's going to cost you 50 dollars all right now there was a certain pair of skins that came out earlier this year that we've uh, talked quite a lot about and that is san rhino tier 3 so uh, san rhino tier 3 is basically the exact same color as the uh, desert raiders tier 3 and i wouldn't be surprised if when people notice the price that these are currently selling for that these also get bought out and it's a you know it's a case of there's hardly any stock, and I don't believe there's that much resistance. So for a cheaper budget alternative compared to the likes of Desert Raiders Tier 3, which is expensive, $50 for the pair, for about $6 you can get this cheaper option instead. And here's the, here's the thing that's very likely going to happen. People will be buying budget options instead. You will see the budget options also go up in price. They'll go up in demand, it will get cleaned out, and then... <coughs> Sorry, I've got to breathe more. <laughs> so, as I was trying to say, with the likes of uh, San Rhino as our uh, current example, when you look at all of that, there is nothing there. There's only 42 quantity, no resistance. That's going up in price. Loads of people buy this because it's cheaper, and, well, <laughs> soon this won't be so cheap. <laughs> and then you look at the likes of the uh, face mask here, 57 on the Steam market. That's also nothing. On average, every Rust skin listed on the Steam market has an average about 100 quantity. If it's got less than that, well, it's got below average quantity, which means all the better for it to rise up in price because there's only so much of it available. And when I look at this again, no big fat quantities, not many on the Steam market. Again, could easily rise up in price. It's like the perfect recipe. And with the comparison to the likes of Desert Raiders, <laughs> $6 for that or $50 for uh, the Desert Raiders Tier 3. So a lot of people very likely will be taking that option. There was other notable collections, uh, such as the Pirate Collection that came out earlier this year. I made quite a fuss about this. Uh, I've got like a whole video series uh, looking at it as it slowly progressed because this was a very in-demand collection. This came out during the summer. On average, in regards to the uh, core pieces, I'm referring to the Tier 3, the Hoodie and Pants, and the Tier 2 armor. Well, on average, they did between, like, forty to 60,000 sales on average. Uh, yeah, that was quite a lot. A ridiculous amount. But it's the new budget blackout option, all right? It was much, much cheaper uh, compared to the blackout collection, which we just saw a minute ago. Like, honestly, for, like, the price of one blackout kilt you could buy the full set the full core set right here so uh yeah that is looking to be very likely increasing in demand and increasing price ever so nicely but it does have big fat quantities in the steam market 
So if I go to here and type in pirate collection, and you will see some other pirate skins, but the very easy way to uh, kind of separate all of them is just look at the amount of quantities listed. And as you can see, we have quite a significant difference. <laughs> 624 pirate roadside kilts, what? Well, uh, yeah, loads of people jumped onto the kilt because this was the brand new cheapest budget blackout kilt available. Um, funnily enough, when the pirate collection came out, the Dragon Rage collection tanked because this was so much more cheaper and affordable. So uh, that used to be the uh, merit that Dragon Rage Collection had. It was the cheapest budget blackout option. Nope, Pirate Collection appears. Dragon Rage Collection uh, completely uh, tanks. But what do we see here? What do we see here? What have we talked about today? What have we talked about during this video? This isn't good. This isn't helping. This is bad. Like I said, whoever owns all of these, if you, un if you remove that, if you let this grow in price a little bit more, it could easily crack $2. It will go above and beyond easily. But when you have resistance like this, when you have big fat chunks of quantity, it ain't going to happen. This is going to be stuck at just over $1 and it's going to barely move. All because people have done this. So I'm sure that's not too hard to comprehend. I'm sure that that's not too hard to understand. How many of these are selling in the past 24 hours? 226. That's fine and all, but even then... It's still a big fat quantity to get through and there's a very likely chance that people have listed lower and people bought those instead so yeah try your best to avoid doing that that was like one of the first things I said during this video but it's not too hard to understand now is it and then we take a look at the likes of uh, the front page now and uh, wow actually there's no whiteout there'll be whiteout on the second page surely and uh, there you go whiteout and then the third page you'll see whiteout boots okay cool 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 but just take this into consideration various different skins are getting cleaned out and whatnot so uh yeah you got to keep an eye on uh, you got to keep an eye on everything that's all you got to do just keep an eye on everything and you will see the wonderful spectacle of post christmas so another option in regards to uh, budget blackout you could look at the likes of legacy kevlar but the main special thing about legacy kevlar was the fact that it has a faceless face mask the texture for the face mask doesn't exist so technically speaking it's pay to win because it could deceive a lot of people if you're wearing that at a distance Loads of people are just going to think you're wearing a beanie hat, so it it's deceptive. It could trick people. But if you're going to be wearing, like, full blackout collection with it and whatnot, uh, yeah, I, I, I guess it's not going to be too hard to deduce what you're actually wearing on your face. But at the end of the day, that's a cool-looking option. And, uh, wow, that's improved. What's going on? Yeah, the uh, Legacy Kevlar face mask actually increased in price ever so nice. But it does have these uh, fatter quantities here as well. So how many sales has this had over the past 24 hours? 179. And wouldn't you believe it, it got cleaned out over the past day or so. Yep. So, things are improving ever so nice, but it does have quite a lot of quantity. 209, and as I said, 18, 10, 14, 15, 24, 16. Guys, if you're one of these people, remove your stock, all right? Let it grow, because it can go even higher easily. If this wasn't here, it would go even higher, for sure, 100%. There's a lot of returning players that doesn't know that this exists, all right? So, consider that. Also... Maybe just maybe we'll get the Legacy Kevlar kilt potentially being accepted in the rest store. Next rest store. Do you think that could happen? Do you believe? Do you believe? Well, if it does happen, yes, there will be a spike in demand, a spike in price. And you'd be foolish to be one of these people here listing these at this price because it would still get cleaned out and it will go even further beyond. So like I said, don't unload all your stock immediately. Sell them in small batches. There is a very decent chance we potentially see that kilt being accepted either at the end of this year or the beginning of the next year. And that, of course, is going to cause all of these to get cleaned out. And here's a funny comparison. Chestplate has nothing. Chestplate has 58 quantity. So like I said, if we saw the kilt all cleaned out, Chestplate's probably selling above $5 easily from then on. I mean, it quite literally, it will happen. So, yeah. Face mask might have these funny situations going on in regards to uh, tons of stock being unless uh, being unloaded, but this right here, oh yes, that's perfectly fine, and this is going to easily climb up in price regardless. We don't need the kilt for it to still go up in value; it's already happening anyway. I don't actually feel so bad now after that guy dumped onto me. Uh, one of the first like problems I had literally a week or so ago was someone unloaded a whole bunch of Legacy Kevlar Tier 3 on me. Well, who's laughing now? <laughs> always a good buy order is always a successful buy order, right? Always a good profit. 
So this is looking to be in a much better position compared to this face mask. However, I wouldn't really, it wouldn't be too surprising to sit here and say the face mask is a lot more in demand. Yes. And uh, even then, like, you know, it's doing very well at the moment. What you also need to be aware of is that tier three armor, that tier three set actually came out just two weeks ago. And very weirdly, it persisted for two weeks. And it ended up with about, well, 66,000 bare minimum sales for the face mask and 56,000 bare minimum sales for the Legacy Kevlar vest. Yeah, both of these sold a ridiculous amount. But even then, they're still going up in price. The demand is too strong. Post-Christmas is a wonderful time. Oh, yes, it is. So do you think my uh, big fat ramble for this video was uh, nice and insightful, I guess? Did you like the thumbnail? That was Ghoulie's idea. He told me to dress up again as Santa. Damn it, Ghoulie. Why? Why? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, very silly, very goofy. But this is the time, guys. This is what we've been waiting for for so, so long. Post-Christmas is the time to sell your skins. But... I'm sure with everything I explained in regards to uh, the amount that you potentially might have or the prices you bought these skins for, any time's a good time to sell if you make a profit. If you're a little bit more patient, maybe you could get a little bit more profit. That is still good. But at the end of the day, the most... Uh, what's the word to say? The most calming thing for yourself is to not worry if you could have potentially made a lot more profit. Like... I've I've had many instances in the past where I've sold too early on a certain skin. And, you know, that can be quite soul-crushing. But at the end of the day, I look at it this way. I sold my skins for a profit, and with that profit, I'm going to go put that towards brand new adventures with new investments and whatnot. I've done that many times over the past several years. And it's led me up to this point, you know. I climbed all the way up to the point where I have... A big fat problem, a hoarding problem to be precise. <laughs> 46,000 skins at one point worth almost $77,000, all right? I've been buying and selling Rust skins for oh, six plus years now, and it's still very successful. It's, like, it's, it's still very good to hop into this and whatnot. So tell your friends, yes, Hedge sent you. <laughs> but honestly, yeah, if you want to learn in regards to the likes of the very basics of Rust skin investing, I've got my Rust Economy 101 playlist. It's on my YouTube. All you've got to do is click playlists and you'll see it right there, uh, right here at the bottom. And uh, yeah, so you all can get involved and you all could walk away with some very interesting profits eventually. But as we already said, with the likes of Christmas, didn't really, uh, didn't really end on a wonderful point, did it? But post-Christmas can definitely make things a whole lot better. There's, on there's only so many Christmas skins that are available. But now all of our Rust skins are going to be in demand and going up in price. So yeah, that was a lot to be said there, wasn't it? I'm very sorry for like croaking like twice during that video. I talked for so long, so much, that my, my throat actually collapsed. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, Hedge, you got to calm down. I can't. There's so much profit that we made. <laughs> now, this video very likely could be a, a whole lot more helpful for people in the future as well. Like all the morals that we've like pointed out, all the uh, interesting details do apply to the future as well. You know, the, the, the same problems will apply. Um, the same sense of strategy and figuring out when you want to sell will still apply. So, uh, yeah. You could always look back at this again in the future and just kind of, you know, refresh your brain and how to engage things and whatnot. But just remember, this is the very beginning. This is only the beginning. The expectation is over the course of this week and throughout January, which is going to be basically another four and a half weeks. Yeah, it's going to be all of that time to sell your skins for a much better profit. So why even consider selling immediately? Why not wait it out a little bit longer? We've already mentioned that before, so cool. And uh, to all the uh, recent people watching this video, uh, I hope you're well aware that we've got a whole bunch of brand new uh, skins being submitted. Uh, I'm sure many of you are aware the next and final Rust store for 2023, that being the December 28th Rust store, uh, it's going to return to non-Christmas skins. So get a quick little teaser of all the new skins that have been submitted. There will be more, don't you worry, there will be more. Uh, tomorrow, of course... From, you know, when you're watching this video, uh, I'll be uh, putting out the uh, Rust Workshop Skin Checks video. So, yeah, very nice, very cool. Uh, we shall see what the final Rust Store of 2023 will be. I look forward to finding out. Because uh, this Rust Store upcoming 
and the January 4 swipe rust store are going to be very, very nice. Yes, yes. And we'll just have to keep an eye out for you. How high do you reckon the, uh, the, uh, the peak player count will be for uh, January 2024? And what do you reckon the average player count will be? Reminder, with January 2023... Uh, no, I meant January 24. Sorry. <laughs> With January 2023, the average player count was over 95,000. How high do you reckon it will be for January 2024? And with these uh, extra days that we have left with December, the average player count for this December is uh, still climbing up. I don't think it's going to climb up and match up to likes of uh, 2022. But as you can see, with the recent uh, amount of people playing, and if, of course, if I were to show you this, Started off very low, but then it picked up and has been increasing over time. Yeah, things are looking pretty good. Things are looking very nice. So, yeah. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we also have the abnormal bars to do. We still have these Christmas skins, but we, we are fully well aware that all these Christmas skins are going to lose value very quickly. Christmas has come, and now it is gone. And... Yeah, these are going to be very good investments to buy, but as we know, with a smart buy order, we're very likely to be able to pick up a whole bunch of these for very cheap around March, April time in 2024. So that's nice. That's cool. I hope you had a wonderful time listening in and having me ramble for a very long time. But guys, this is it. This is where we start buying all of those Valve Indexes and Steam Decks and whatnot. Do you know what? I guess I could probably go over to here real quickly and just take a look. Because uh, let me just kind of get this in your heads. All right. Let me just get this in your heads. All right. You might not want, you might not want a Steam Deck. All right. That's fine. That's fine. Let me, I can't seem to find it. Where is it? <laughs> Where is it? Can you show me? Steam Deck? Hardware? Gimme, 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 gimme. Uh, what about just type in Steam Deck? <laughs> no categories, categories, there you go. Hardware. Gimme, 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 gip, 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 hardware. There we go, there. Here we are. God, that took a while. Sorry. <laughs> you personally might not want a Steam Deck, but I can definitely sit here and say I'm pretty sure there is uh there's some other people out there that might want them, and they can't get them in their country. So you act upon that bit of information I just passed on to you. Also, you know, you could always look at the likes of uh, Valve, in Valve Indexes as well. But yep, the brand new OLED st uh, Steam Deck came out literally a month ago. And I know people want it, but they can't acquire it in their countries. So yeah, interesting that. Interesting little detail. Uh, so with all of these profits that you make with the post-Christmas, that's an option to uh, consider for a purchase. You could just get one for yourself. Fair enough, I don't blame you. You could buy all the games that you want whilst the uh, Steam sale is currently going on. That's a... Uh, that's a fun time, by wherever you want. That's that's fun, isn't it? You could give games to friends. Oh, you'd be the best friend, won't you? <laughs> but overall, you also need to consider where you might want to put your money into when you make all those profits. Maybe you might want to consider putting the likes of your uh, money into the likes of Counter-Strike cases. They tend to be very reliable. Recently, they have gone down, they have gone down in price very sharply. Um, I believe it coincided with the release of the uh, Steam Deck, but it also with the likes of the uh, Winter Sale coming out. But yeah, when you look at the likes of the uh, Fracture case very recently, very nice, and then it went down again. And more specifically, very recently... Uh, well, that's when the beta for Counter-Strike 2 came out, but here. This was a recent high point of about 90 cents, and since then it's gone down pretty hard. It's gone down again recently. I do expect this to rise back up again. Fracture case. Compared to all of the other uh, recent CS cases that have come out, this is definitely one of the cases that will very likely be put into the, res uh, to the rare spot. So it's between this and the snake bite case which is located not on the front page so we're gonna to have to go over to here snake bite where are you snake bite here he is right these two cases are expected to become rare soon so if you were to invest into them whilst their prices are fairly low and just you know just store them away forget about them eventually we're going to get our next non-operation case coming out which is expected to be early 2024 and if either of these become rare they will instantly get bought out because people will see them as very nice future investments and gradually over time, because the stock of it won't replenish very easily, they will go up in price ever so nice, very, very gradually, but it will happen. So they are very nice long-term investments and therefore a great option to put your money away uh, with all the, with all the uh, rust profits you make, the post-Christmas profits. Like I said, you could also consider like buying a knife, you know. Uh, you know, I'll be honest with you, I always needed a cranberry. 
with all the money that I've just made, I feel like buying five. <laughs> but you can, honestly. It depends how much you invest into Rust um, and how much profits you make. Oh, wow, that's really cheap. Damn. Damn, I didn't realize they got that low at the moment. But uh, yeah, oh yeah, a nice karambit law. I need a banana. I need to kill pe people with a banana. Oh yes, I do. I'm surprised um, Mr. Debsky and Mr. Uh, Mr. PYH hasn't tried to make like a, a curved banana knife. That'd actually be pretty funny. <laughs> karambit law. But yeah, yeah, go buy it. And uh, maybe, just maybe, it'll just keep increasing in value like it is currently now. Stagnating a little bit at the moment. It's probably going to rebound and go back up in price again. So if it's currently stagnating... That looks like it's a perfect time to jump in and buy one. If you have the money, which you probably will do if you've invested a lot into likes the Ruskins for post-Christmas. Yes, yes, yes. So uh, it could be this. It could be TF2 stuff. The choice is yours. Um, you've got to figure this out, though, because, you know, you will reach a point where you're going to look at all of your accounts and you're going to think, damn, I've maxed out all of them. Oh, no. I'm going to have to buy stuff just so I can keep selling more Ruskins. And that will happen because you definitely want to sell your Ruskins during this post-Christmas period of time. So go grab some nice expensive Counter-Strike stuff while you can. You could even put it on third-party sites as a means to potentially want to cash out. That is a choice. That is up to you. I don't do third-party, but yeah, that's up to you. And so, yeah, that's it. That is everything. So I tried my best to talk about every possible thing that I could of with the likes of post-Christmas. I hope you enjoyed yourself. My throat hates me. <coughs> oh, God. Ah, oh, it's half two in the morning as well. I'm going to drop. I'm done. I'm done. So once again, I hope you had a lovely Christmas. I hope you have a lovely post-Christmas. And I hope you have a wonderful new year. 2024 is just around the corner. And these skins, well, they're going to be peaking in price quite a lot. Not these Christmas ones. Blech. No, no, no. These, these cool looking ones right here. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Best of luck to all of you. Best of luck to all of the investors. Thank you all for watching me throughout all of this year. Yes, I know Christmas wasn't very good, and I'm very sorry that happened. That's not exactly within my control. But we're par on the course of what we're currently seeing right here, right now, the momentum, post-Christmas is lining up to be a very, very good one. So remember, from now until the end of January, this is it. This is where you would likely want to sell your skins. Let's see what we get. Best of luck to all of you. Catch you later. See you and goodbye.